Hello everyone, welcome to Mathematics Tour. This is question 9 of the Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics written in May June 2024. If this is the first video you are seeing, there are 8 videos for questions 1 to 8 in a playlist on my YouTube channel titled IGCSE Mathematics Paper 4 to May June 2024. If you are seeing this channel for the first time, please kindly subscribe to my channel by clicking the subscribe button. Also, hit the notification bell to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. Like, comment, and share this video. Let's jump into question 9a. Question 9a. OAB is a sector of a circle. Center O radius 17 centimeters. OCD is a sector of a circle. Center O radius 10 centimeters. OCA and ODB are straight lines and angle AOB goes to 60 degrees. The perimeter of the shaded shape a b d c can be written in the form a pi plus b centimeters find the value of a and the value of b so this is the shaded um, shape so let's do this like this Okay, so that's the shaded shape. So we know that uh, the perimeter, let's write here, the perimeter of the shaded shape will be equals to uh, CD plus DB plus A b plus a c so we already know that um, this place is 10 centimeters so this place will be 7 centimeters so this place will also be 7 centimeters okay so a c is equals to uh, 7 so this is equals to 7 and uh, d b is also equals to seven okay so we need to find this which is length of an arc of this uh, small sector we also need to find this which is length of an arc of the big uh, sector okay so uh, let's go with cd okay here we say cd equals to theta over 360 degrees okay times 2 pi r so the radius is 10 centimeters as you can see from here okay so we'll see that cd equals to 60 over 360 degrees then times 2 pi then r equals to 10 centimeters so if you do this input the whole of this into your calculator so you should get 3.3 3.33 pi okay so similarly let's divide this into two so we can get uh, the value of a b a b will be equals to theta over 360 times 2 pi r so that will be equals to uh, 60 degrees over 360 degrees times 2 pi into 17 so let's scroll down a little bit so if you do this you should get 5.67 5.67 pi so that will be a b so the perimeter now be equals to so the perimeter the perimeter of the shaded shape So we equals to the first one there is CD and that is 3.33 pi plus the second one there is DB which is 7 centimeters and the third one will be AB which is 5.67 pi 5.67 pi plus the last one which is also 7 centimeters so if you add uh, this and this together, ok, 
okay so you will get nine pi okay plus if you add this and this you get um 14 okay so if you compare this with the given form a pi plus b a pi plus b okay so you see that um a is equals to 9 and b is equals to 14 so a is equals to 9 and b is equals to 14 so let's go to the next part part b the diagram shows a regular hexagon the area of the hexagon is 127.3 centimeters squared show that the length of one side of the hexagon is 7.0 centimeters correct to one decimal place that is here is seven 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 seven, seven and seven okay so let's put a point here then let's connect this to this 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 and finally this to this so um each of the internal angles here okay here we have um angles around the point here and they add up to 360 degrees so since we have six so we can divide uh by six because these angles are equal so this will be 60 this will be 60 this will be 60 60 60 and 60 okay so since this is 60 degrees that means this and this should add up to the remaining two interior angles of each of the triangles should add up to 120 degrees okay and this side and this side are also equal so this will also be 60 60 okay 60 60 60 60 60 60 60 60 60 and 60 so that means we have an uh, equilateral triangle here each of these triangles is an equilateral triangle since we have an equilateral triangle here okay so that means the three angles and the three sides are also equal so for that reason we can just do something like this okay so let's draw this this okay and finally this okay so we can say that this is seven seven and seven because we have an equilateral triangle this will be 60 this will be 60 and this will be 60 okay so and if you, you may want to confirm that again by uh, drawing an extension here then try to get the exterior angle here okay but this is sufficient for us so we know that the area of a triangle is equals to um, half r squared sine theta okay so we need to get the area of one triangle okay so area of one triangle equals to 127.3 centimeter square divided by six so that will give us 21.2 centimeter squared so um, the value of theta is equals to uh, 60 degrees so therefore area that is 21 okay let's come down a little bit so you can say therefore 21 is equals to half into r squared then sine uh, theta okay so we can now uh, let's cross multiply so that will be 21 times 2 that will be 42 equals to r Okay, sorry, the value of theta is 60 degrees, okay? So, equals to R uh, squared, then sine 60 degrees, okay? So, we may come back to, to that, okay? So, uh, simply, okay, we can put sine 60 here, 
Then let's divide both sides by um, sine 60 degrees, okay? So that means R squared will be equals to 42 over sine 60 degrees. If you input this into your calculator, okay, so the value of R squared, okay, sorry, the value of R squared will be equals to 48.96. 48.96 okay so if you take the root of both sides r will be equal to square root of 48.96 and r is equal to 6.997 so if you approximate this to one decimal place r will be equal to 7.0 centimeters okay so if r is equal to seven centimeters okay so and we have an equilateral triangle so that means um this will be seven this will be seven as the radius will be and also this will also be seven okay so that is the solution to that question uh, remember figure two the hexagon is the cross section of a prism of length 10 centimeters so at a find the volume of the prism okay so the volume of the prism will be uh, the cross section area multiplied by the length okay so the volume will be equals to the cross section area that is 127.3 centimeter squared okay then multiplied by the length between the two cross sections so that will be 10 and this will give us 127 three centimeter cube because this is 10 centimeters so you have one two seven three centimeter cube part b calculate the surface area of the prism okay so the surface area of the prism will be two uh, times uh, the cross section area okay two times the cross section areas Okay, then plus six times area of a rectangle. Okay, because we have six equal uh, rectangles here. Yeah? So that would be the surface area of the prism. Okay, so it will be uh, surface area. So let's use this SFA. Surface area will be equals to two into the cross section. Um, areas so that will be 2 into 1 2 7 point 3 okay plus 6 into area of a rectangle okay the area of a rectangle is um 7 times 10 okay but this this is um 10 and this is 7 okay so if this side is 7 so that means this side is 7 this side is seven, this side is seven, this side is seven, and we have ten as the length. Okay, so it will be six into seven times ten. Okay, so if you input this into your calculator, so you should get six seven four point six centimeter squared. So you get six seven point six seven four point six centimeters squared. So this is the end of the solution to question 9. In the next video, I will solve question 10. Until then, have your fingers crossed.